one and two. Oh. All right, so uh, it's time for the top five, which was introduced by Jennifer. We, we're over time, so uh, we're, we're just going to go right into it. But this is top five college football stars from Southwest Florida, which was – uh, devastated yesterday. It's uh, my hometown of Fort Myers. Very like Fort Myers Beach, especially Sanibel Island. All those places uh, are just in shambles right now. A lot of places for Cape Coral, Naples, uh, places in between. So I thought I would just bring some awareness to the area. And if you can make a donation to the Red Cross or something, uh, please do it in, for Fort Myers. Uh, there are a lot of people there uh, that certainly could use the help. But uh, top five college football stars uh, from Southwest Florida. This one. One, number five, I, I went back and forth, and I'm going to mention a guy who didn't make the list, but everybody knows him. Martin Gramatica was from Kansas State, oh. was from LaBelle, Florida, which was our, one of our rival high schools. Uh, but uh, Martin Gramatica and his brothers all played at LaBelle. But number five from North Fort Myers High School, Noel Devine. You remember this guy at West yep, Virginia? West Virginia. Just absolute uh, – uh, three of these guys are actually from the same high school, but uh, absolute speed demon. And this was in honor of our West Virginia viewers and listeners. We have that a bunch of them. Yeah, find. Joey and them are happy this weekend after the win last weekend. Yeah. All right. Oh, this week. Yeah. All right. This one more recent, uh, still in the league right now uh, from uh, Fort Myers High School. Uh, Sammy Watkins uh, is from Fort Myers, played a great career at Clemson, was one of the first guys that Dabo Sweeney went down to that South Florida area and plucked away from the Florida schools and started to build his empire there. Yeah. Great player. Um, yeah. yeah. Terrific player. And um, on his NFL career, seems like it's been kind of back yeah. and forth. Um, I always feel like I'm hearing him like injured or something yeah. along those lines, but you know, Devine going back to that, that's really my wheelhouse well, as far fly. as, as far as the early two thousands go. And uh, yeah, he was very fast and a great player, but yeah, Sammy Watkins, a, a stud. Number three from a very small uh, rural town, Immokalee, Florida, uh, now uh, ha Hall of Famer, Edrin James. Uh, and this guy is the only guy on the list that got tattooed by number 56 right here. You hit him? Uh, we played uh, in the Jamboree, Spring Jamboree, uh, and it was my going into my sophomore year. And in the Spring Jamboree, you only play a half, so the coaches want everybody to play. So they just had this, like, all right, Defensive line number three, go in. You didn't answer my question. You so, hit him? I'm, yeah, um, I'm getting to that. Uh, <laughs> so all of a sudden, it's like I get this, Catalina, you're in. And I thought, oh, great. And I look, and there's number five back there playing for Immokalee. And I was like, wait a minute. The first thought is like, why in the bleep is he in the game? If I'm in the game, he shouldn't be in the game. It should be some little guy, not this dude. So first carry, he runs straight into me. And uh, I still think that I like when I breathe at night, it hurts a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so no, I. You think I, he remembers you? No, I don't. I'm surprised I remember him. Uh, to be quite honestly, it hit me <laughs> yeah. so hard. But Edrin James, a dude from Immokalee High School, he he had a great career at Miami, great career in the NFL. But Edrin James, a, a guy that everybody would know. Absolutely great player. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number two, Javon Curse. Uh, from also North Fort Myers High School. Uh, if you're sensing a theme here, they they get some dudes. But Javon Curse, uh, in high school, this dude, let me tell you about him, was a wide receiver and a safety. Mm. And then, yeah, can you imagine trying to cover him? No. Or at safety if you're a wide receiver. It, in that days, they didn't throw as much, but even still, His him coming down here. freak, right? Yes. Yeah. He got to Florida, and he was recruited mostly by – Florida and Florida State were his top two. Bobby Bowden straight up told him the truth and said, hey, you're going to be an outside linebacker defensive end because you're six foot six and this is what you do. And Bob Stoops and Steve Spurrier, Bob Stoops was the D.C. at Florida at the time, said, no, 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 you're a safety. Who else is a six foot six safety? And he was a safety for about an hour, and then they moved to outside linebacker, and the rest is history. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And number one, the biggest guy from Fort Myers is Deion Sanders. Uh, you know, uh, had his basketball tournament there. Once got arrested for fishing at the airport uh, to promote said uh, charity event. But Deion Sanders, North Fort Myers High School, uh, which also Boston Red Sox left fielder Mike Greenwell uh, was there at the mm -hmm. same time as Deion. Uh, but uh, or maybe a little bit before. But uh, Deion Sanders uh, and, you know, everybody knows Deion, but he is also from. It, Fort Myers. It, is J. Ron Curse related? Yes, they're uh, cousins, I want to say. Cowboys safety? Okay. Yes, yeah. Also, right. also from Fort Myers. Yeah. All right, Paul, incredible. Thank you very much. Thanks to Jack McKinsey.